hello everyone welcome to the channel in this video guys if you are facing the issue cursor is showing black when you log in on your system so you are getting the issue black screen with the cursor so this video is for you i will show you step by step how to troubleshoot this issue so this is my vm machine guys so first of all you need to restart the file explorer guys so how to open the file explorer on your system which screen has been blacked so you need to press control alt and delete button together okay you need to press control alt delete button together and after that you should able to see the task manager option let me show you here so once you have press control alt delete button and click on the task manager you should see able to see the process like this so we need to look for the windows explorer here so scroll down and look for windows explorer in a gray color as you can see here so we need to right click and simply restart it so once you have restarted it you should fix the issue now if your issue is fixed then well and good if still not fix your issue guys so we need to again control again you need to press control alt delete button together so once you have again press control alt and delete button together on your system you need to hold the shift key on your keyboard guys keep holding the shift key now and click on this toggle icon and click on restart keep holding the shift key until you get the please wait and automatic repair option we are going into the recovery environment to repair our windows from there some windows corruption or the new faulty update can cause this issue as well so click on troubleshoot click on advanced options now step number two is we have to uninstall the latest update here if sometime windows update is a new and that is incomplete so you have to uninstall the latest quality update first and you can follow these steps in windows 10 and 11 also now choose your admin user account here put the password so let me log in with the password and this will uninstall the latest quality update just click on uninstall update once you have uninstall update it will automatically load into the windows click on continue with windows and also if that is not fix the issue choose this option uninstall latest feature update okay click on this option but if you are unable to uninstall the update from here that we have also fixed for you click on advanced option now step number three we are going to uninstall the latest software that is causing the issue of black screen so click on startup settings click on restart press f4 or 4 on your keyboard now in the safe mode screen should be black but you should able to perform the task from here now we can perform two steps two to three steps in a safe mode okay the first one is we can uninstall the faulty update as well as we can uninstall the latest software that is causing the issue and third one we can uninstall or update the device manager display driver so simply open the control panel you need to go into the search bar and then type the control and if the search bar is not working you can press windows plus r button and simply type on it control select here the category wise like this large icons click on uninstall programs and features now we need to select the latest program click on install on date filter it and click on choose that program and simply uninstall it since some new program or game can cause this issue especially the gaming software new software are heavy so they are not compatible with your windows sometime 
and somehow they are corrupted so you have to uninstall them and check if it fixed the issue or not now we can uninstall the windows update from here as well click on this option click on install on and choose the latest package and simply right click ok so select your latest and click on uninstall and also we can open the device manager here right click there and simply open the device manager we can uninstall the graphic driver here sometime if graphic drivers is faulty so click on display adopters and simply right click on your adopter that should be manufacturer one not the microsoft basic one and simply uninstall it simply uninstall it so once you have uninstall it restart your system and your system is going to load the automatic driver that is microsoft basic driver so after that you need to go to the manufacturer website and simply install the latest graphic driver from there and your issue will be fixed for sure so i'm pretty sure guys after applying these four to five methods your issue is fixed now if your issue is fixed then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching and also the note that if you are not able to access your screen with the shift hold the shift and restart option so you can manually forcefully shut down your system two to three times as soon as the window loads then you will get the recovery options